my first marathon. So going into 2020, I had uh, two different uh, endurance base goals, and uh, the first was completing Yen Shopping Ironman 70.3, which is basically the half distance of a full Ironman. And I had the goal of completing a full marathon, which I did the previous weekend, and uh, I'm filming this on a Tuesday, 22nd of December, so just being transparent with you guys and uh, it's been a pr pretty crazy year and um, Young Shopping Ironman obviously didn't end up happening because of Covid but thankfully we had a uh, awesome guy called Frederick here in Sweden he created a replace the race which was called Bauer Triathlon so that was the exactly same distances as Young Shopping Ironman but uh, it was corona friendly and uh, it was an incredible event and uh, I managed to finish in uh, just below six hours so I'm very happy about that very proud of myself and my dad because he also finished under six hours which was his goal so that was a really good experience but this last weekend I did something that was even more challenging and um, that might surprise some of you because I completed the marathon in about 4 hours and 50 minutes of effective running time. Then we had a few, uh, a small br uh, break, uh, three times total back in my apartment to fill up with some uh, energy and uh, water intake and all, all that good stuff basically. So uh, the total time uh, might have been 4 hours, 45 minutes, something like that. I'm not really sure. I think each break was less than 10 minutes, but uh, just so you guys know. But What's uh, pretty ironic is that this was lasting four hours, but it was so much more difficult, especially mental, mentally and physically. And uh, that is mainly because, like you guys know, running is very hard on the body, or rather it's just beating up the same muscles over and over. So you basically never get any, any time to rest and relax those muscles throughout the race, whereas when you're doing a triathlon, at least you're switching muscle groups between the different uh, different activities. So that was very brutal. But one thing that I'm very proud about is that throughout this entire marathon, not one still I had a thought about quitting. And that made me really happy because, like you guys know, I, I always talk about hard and easy choices. And I'm always trying to strengthen my mindset. So I'm very happy that that is bringing the results and that thought never crossed my mind during those 4 hours and 50 minutes of running so I'm very proud about that and uh, I'm very happy to keep building on that going into the challenges that I will be attempting in the future so that was very satisfying and uh, overall the marathon was a really good experience the, the conditions were pretty amazing for us we actually got uh, a couple of hours of sun which is very rare for us here in Sweden on the, on the in November December the winter months are pretty <laughs> terrible for us when it comes to sun exposure so that was definitely awesome incredible conditions it was a little bit windy towards the end during the last hours but nothing to complain about so I'm very happy with the overall experience uh, a little bit sad that uh, my dad who I was r running with didn't uh, he wasn't able to make it because uh, his muscles were crapping, cramping like crazy, but he's, he's going to make a new attempt in the upcoming days. So uh, stoked for him and uh, it's very impressive that he even managed that far, considering the fact that he's more than twice my age and uh, that he's going to make a new attempt in less than one week. I haven't decided yet if I'll be joining him or not, but I guess my body wouldn't be a super huge fan of that but at the same time it would be a great challenge for me both mentally and physically so we'll see about that but uh, like I said overall it's been uh, pretty great I'm, uh, I put quite some time into training before this because I've been pretty diligent about my zone 2 runs and for, for you guys that are not familiar with zone 2 running that is basically when you're running at pretty low intensity to build up the 
Sun 2 is basically a heart rate zone, and it's a pretty low heart rate zone. So when we're in zone 2, that's basically going to be that fat burning zone, so to speak. And what makes this so powerful is that this is pretty much the best way to build endurance. And one of the common mistakes that most um, non-professional non -professional endurance athletes make athlete makes is that their harder days are too light and their easier, easier days are not easy enough. So that is something, something that definitely I was um, guilty of, that when I went on my runs I would uh, go pretty damn intense and I would pretty rarely like go all out during my interval sessions. So what I've done now is basically I had uh, one day during the week when I'm doing some type of interval training that could be hill sprints or something like that where I'm really like going all out, giving it my all, whether that's 90 or 100 percent given that day and on the rest of the days I'm doing lighter stuff so that would be my zone 2 run and a great uh, a great saying I heard from an endurance coach, can't actually recall his name sadly but was basically that you're running in zone 2 when you feel like you pretty much wasted a running session so that's how it should feel but in reality you're actually making so much more progress when you're running in zone 2 compared to zone 3 and 4 and um, all that zone 2 training really, I'm sure that helped me a lot during this marathon because uh, I've been pretty consistent with it for these last few months. I uh, look forward to maintaining it in the upcoming years. But yeah, that is something that has been paying huge dividends for me personally. So just wanted to recommend that if there's any of you guys that are in a similar situation or you're trying to increase your endurance and uh, you're, likely me, you're like me and you have fallen into that... Um, zone that's not really that productive so it's basically when we're in between zone 3 and 4 and uh, the kind of the grey zone as they like to call it because you're putting in a lot, a lot of effort because but you're not getting much results so that is definitely something you want to avoid and hope you guys enjoyed this video and my thoughts and take care.